Dinis Powys is a thriving rural community situated at the gateway to the rural vale. Creative rural communities, as part of its remit to improve the life of rural areas and to encourage community cohesion, have supported an array of grassroots initiatives which have impacted at the heart of the local community and changed the lives of their users. It's been a very positive relationship. Um, we, we are a relatively small community council with limited finances. So the financial um, support uh, from creative rural communities has been absolutely crucial in ensuring that we improve services for the community. One such initiative is the Dinners Powys Lunching Club, where volunteer staff prepare delicious meals for local pensioners and vulnerable people. It's only the last, I think about three years we've had this kitchen. Before that, we had sort of quite a run-down one. It's, it's not so much really the meal, although that is important, but it's important for them to socialise. Uh, it, it ends up as a day out because they're picked up by the minibus, brought here. You can see they enjoy each other's company and they have a nice meal. This is a really good way to combat isolation. It's something within this village that we're very much aware of uh, and we provide uh, this sort of venue for the people to meet. Another such project is the Merchfield Community Cinema, which brings together local people to experience the magic of the movies without having to travel to the city. A lot of the elderly people around this area do suffer from social isolation and finding a place where they can visit safely and with their friends is very useful and of course the cost is low. Creative rural communities have been very helpful to us. Um, we've already had some money for the hall. Uh, the blackout blinds were provided by creative rural communities. Uh, the loan of the equipment, they've been very accommodating. We've always had the equipment whenever we needed it. And of course, their cooperation in getting the new equipment has been invaluable. Then we have the outdoor community gym a community-led initiative which focuses on the physical well-being and fitness of the local people. One of the most inspiring ways in which creative uh, rural communities has taken this funding forward is to involve communities uh, and they've used what is called the leader approach but that actually just means communities taking the lead so you know I really do congratulate the way in which this fund has been spent and this is what the European Commission wants they want to see communities are taking part and deciding how these funds should be used and, and you can see, and of course we're here looking at and behind me, the projects which have been funding, just some of them in Dennis Powys, showing that actually the community came together and said, you know, these are the things that our people, our young people, our children and our families need. And finally, the Nightingale Community Garden is an outstanding example of affirmative action on the territory. Local residents have taken over a rundown area and created a genuine Garden of Eden where alongside plants and vegetables, friendships and support networks grow and flourish. The idea was to regenerate this old play area that had been abused for many years. It was a dumping ground for litter. The side of it was a shortcut for residents to the local shopping. They felt very insecure, very dark. We came in and we thought, let's do something with it. We've managed to open it up with the support of creative rural communities and turned it into this wonderful garden. The projects like the, the community garden, like the, the cinema, those sorts of things are all projects which have helped the community to come together um, and develop the type of, of, of um, skills and, and, and cohesion that they, they were sadly starting to lose. So I think that what we've done is, is help to develop a really solid future in Dennis Paris for the future. Mm -hmm.